Shout out to all you highly sensitive people, empaths who are stuck in heavy traffic and the driver behind you is beeping their horn to the left. They're shouting at you to the right. They're winding down their window, mean mugging you. And you're just there listening to Ralph Smart, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. That's a sensible thing to do. I'm proud of you. Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in nature, baby. Another day in paradise, such a hot day. Deep divers, we're just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. How's your day going, deep divers? Deep divers, are you an empath by any chance? Are you a highly sensitive person by any chance? Do you often find yourself absorbing other people's energy? And sometimes this energy is nefarious. Sometimes this energy is not serving you. And you're looking a bit shaky, baby. You feel drained after being in large crowds. Is that you? Well, this video is so for you. How? to protect your energy as a highly sensitive person. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? So wonderful deep divers, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. Protect my energy as a highly sensitive person. Now I qualify for being a highly sensitive person because I'm a Pisces, born on March 3rd. I'm a water sign, so I'm always absorbing other people's energy. Growing up, like people would just tell me stuff. Pisceans, you know what I'm talking about, right? Now, the same thing still happens, deep divers. I get thousands of messages every single day. Ralph, this, Ralph, this happened to me. But thank goodness, I know how to protect my energy. Growing up as an intuitive empath, it was hard for me to be around a lot of people. Why? Because I could enter other people's emotional states. Like I knew what they were going through. I could put myself, I could put myself deep divers in their shoes. Like it actually happened to me. Now this is pretty cool until you realize like, you're interacting with so many different kinds of people every single day. Now it becomes a bit of a problem. So let me share with you the best techniques in the world to protect your energy as a highly sensitive person. Learn how to say no without feeling guilty. As highly sensitive people, it's hard to say no, isn't it? Why? Because you don't want to hurt other people's feelings. But deep divers, I'm here to tell you something. You can't hurt anybody's feelings if you are respecting your own energetic space. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Saying no is such a great feeling. It's such a great liberation. But often, we want to be considered as nice people. That's right, Ralph. Did you know deep divers? The old English nice, the word actually meant stupid. <laughs> it's not cool to be nice. It's cool to keep it real. And sometimes that includes saying no without feeling guilty. Once you can allow yourself to keep it real with yourself, speak your truth even if your voice shakes that's how to protect your energy as a highly sensitive person because deep divers people ask me favors all the time and what do i tell them no 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 just 
sing that song for them, right? <laughs> I'm not a bad person because I always say yes as well to a lot of people. But you have to also, also <laughs> say no, okay? Even to family members, especially to the cat down the road, okay? Realize this deep dive is to protect yourself as a highly sensitive person. I have what I call restrictive time limits, okay? I can't talk to a lot of people for a long time if I don't know you, except if you come to my retreat, <laughs> right? Growing up, it was hard for me to be in large crowds because I would be absorbing other people's energy. And now a lot of the time, sometimes people meet me deep divers on the beach when I'm walking about. They're like, Ralph Smart, is that you? I'm like, no, it's not. It's my twin. Yes, it is me. Because I keep it real with you deep divers. And they start telling me about their whole life story. And I'm cool with that. Up until the five minute mark, then I'm like, I got to go right now. Right? Unless they're also in love with the cat down the road, then we can talk longer. But deep divers, when you set time limits, that's how to protect your energy as a highly sensitive person. Because it's like people almost know you're an empath, you're going to listen to them, you're kind, you're compassionate. So they want to tell you everything. That's what happens to me every single day. And I love to do this, but I've learned over the years to protect my energy. You do this by setting healthy energetic boundaries. A practical way to do this is to say, I'm only going to speak to people for three minutes. That's the max. Then you can do four minutes. Then you can do five minutes because highly sensitive people, many times you're listening to someone and they're telling you all of their problems and you are becoming what I call a sponge person, okay? You are absorbing all of those unwanted frequencies and vibrations you don't need. Okay, so learn how to set time limits. Deep dive is how to protect your energy as a highly sensitive person. Now, many times, as soon as we wake up, we watch videos which don't serve us. We look at pictures which don't serve us. And have you ever seen the three monkeys deep divers? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. That's what you got to do. You got to learn how to protect your senses. I'm very mindful and aware of what I'm looking at. It has to serve me. I'm very aware of the music I'm listening to. I don't want to hear a singer telling me about all of their problems 24 seven. Ain't nobody got time for that. And I'm very mindful of what I'm putting into my mouth <laughs> and what's coming out of my mouth, okay? It has to serve me. Now, to protect your energy as a highly sensitive person, choose environments which complement your energy. That means leaving environments which don't. As a highly sensitive person myself, I've come to see that this is the greatest gift ever. It's actually a gift to be vulnerable, to be sensitive. When you're also in the right environment, it's a win-win. The reason why a lot of you feel being highly sensitive or being an empath is difficult is because you are in the wrong environment. Like I get to wake up, do whatever I want every single day, come into nature, go to the beach. So being a highly sensitive person suits me just fine. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Choose environments, people and places that actually complement your own energy. Deep divers, how? to protect your energy as a highly sensitive person. The three R's, what are they, Ralph? What are they, Ralph? Reset, recharge, and regroup. I've learned that I have to have me time, alone time. I've got to spend at least one hour alone in nature. Okay, with the cat down the road, that's cool. But that's really what helps me recharge my energy replenish my energy, also learn how to reset. A lot of you highly sensitive empaths, okay? You wanna do a million and one things at once. You wanna please everybody at once and that's impossible because someone in the world does not like mangoes. I do, seven day vegan challenge, okay? Realize <laughs> you can't be everyone's personal savior. And I had to learn this, I can't 
go out being a personal savior, being a personal savior to everyone. Charity starts at home. Start filling your own cup first before you start helping other people. The reason why I can help you wonderful deep divers is because I'm recharging, resetting, and regrouping, and also taking care of myself by realizing I can't please everyone. I can only please the cat down the road. Deep Diver 7 Day Vegan Challenge. Eat well to protect your energy as a highly sensitive person. I've seen that magnesium, which is magnesium, which is actually great for anxiety, is fantastic. Growing up, I used to eat, and I still do, a lot of watercress that is packed full of magnesium. So if you are a highly sensitive person, eat lots of leafy greens, kale, watercress, arugula, that will help calm your nerves. And also realize this, deep divers. If you are a highly sensitive person, what I want you to do is to list all the benefits of being a highly sensitive person. Let me name one. Being a highly sensitive person has allowed me to feel things more. It's allowed me to connect with other people in a deeper way. So to protect your energy as a highly sensitive person, start seeing this as a gift, as a superpower. And realize even though it's a superpower, you have to learn how to protect this superpower. And that means being in the right environment. Also tuning into the right frequencies every single day and seeing the right images on the screen every single day. Not images of violence all the time, okay? Make sure you are watching and interacting with energy that's actually, that's actually serving you. Deep divers, and then you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? And that's how to protect yourself as a highly sensitive person. Go for a walk every single day. But most of all, just, whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Reconnect with yourself every single day. That's what I do. Deep divers, get the good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes. Check out the new book, Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon. Follow me on Instagram at Infinite Waters. Deep divers, have a beautiful day infinite waters diving deep once again stay well stay healthy peace you no oh you did it how did that feel really good ralph i told you <laughs>